guys. I made such a stupid, stupid mistake. It wouldn't be a real home improvement video without something going wrong, would it? <laughs> Thanks for watching today's Clean and Decorate With Me video. We were redoing my master bedroom doing some cooking and cleaning and laundry around the house. I'm Brianna Kay, I hope you're having a great day and thanks so much for subscribing to my channel if you're new. So first I had to put together our new bed. We sold our old one because it blocked part of the window in here so I found a new one that was super chic and simple. While I was putting the bed together, I had my new sheets in the wash. I got all new bedding from Brooklinen, and I'm so excited. And a huge thank you to Brooklinen for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna tell you more about Brooklinen as I make the bed here today. High quality bed sheets are really expensive. I don't know if there are any other newlywed fans here, but do you remember when Jessica Simpson bought those luxury sheets and they were like $700? And you know, that was before today's inflation. <laughs> so Brooklinen was founded on the philosophy that people deserve simple, beautiful home essentials without the luxury markup. So the classic and luxe hardcore bundles cost between $200 to $250 depending on the size of your bed which the Lux bundle is the one that I got it came with a sheet a fitted sheet four pillowcases and a duvet cover and other comparable bedding would be at least double that price like $500 plus and when you bundle you get 25% off instead of when you purchase all those items separately on Brooklinen plus you're getting that incredible quality for the value there's over 100,000 five-star reviews and there's tons of beautiful colors and patterns to fit your style and it is so easy to order online. There is nothing better than when you have amazing quality bedding that just is like so comfortable and cozy to go to sleep in. I'm seriously so excited to go to bed tonight. Oh, my new Brooklinen bedding. It seriously just feels so soft and luxurious. That was my slippers falling off by the way that noise. Um, but really, like this is just such good quality bedding. So if you are on the market for some new sheets, want to do a little spring refresh upgrade, or I know even there's like a lot of weddings um, and like showers in the spring, like this would be such an amazing, whether it's a wedding gift, shower gift, housewarming gift, because um, I know like the sheet bundle is just like perfect, which is what we got. And if you use my link down in the description box below, Brooklyn is awesome because they're giving you $20 off any $100 order. So again, I'll have that link down in my description box below and use the code Brianna K so that you get that discount. And just to warn you, you might not want to get out of bed after you order these sheets. I made such a stupid, stupid mistake when the bedroom was getting done. I already texted Uncle Dave about this and he's like such a sweet man. He's like, no worries, we're gonna just fix that when we come to do your bathroom in a couple of weeks. Um, okay, here's what I did. So we had all of the furniture cleared out of here because they were redoing the floors and painting the walls. So, and I don't know if you can see like that little like chunk right there like this is all going to continue into the bathroom by the way so that's why there's that like little piece taken out on um, like the same flooring I mean but we had no furniture in here so before they painted they wanted to install the lights because they were going to have to like cut a hole in the wall and a hole in the ceiling and they were going to just like repaint everything so they had asked okay like where do you want the lights and like what height and I came in and I was like okay I know that this is like the height that I wanted but it's actually quite easy to adjust I think like yeah I think it's right here it might be up there actually you just like they showed me you can like unscrew it and move it up and down really easily but they were like do you want us to just center it in between like the window and the wall on each side so I was like oh yeah that that's perfect that will look great like I like how nice and symmetrical it is well I wasn't thinking that we have a queen in here. Like, okay, I should have been like, well, where the queen bed is and then where the nightstand goes 
you know, to be able to like really reach the nightstand, <laughs> the nightstand needs to be a little closer and you want that to be like over the nightstand. So I'm like, Dave, can we just move it like a couple of inches over so that, you know, it has the look I want. Cause here, this one on this side has already moved over to it. You can see like there's quite a gap in between the bed and the nightstand if I sort of like leave them where they're like under the pendant light, so. Again, I feel so dumb. I'm like, I'm taking full ownership of this. I know it is all my fault. Like you asked me where I wanted it and I was stupid and didn't think to be like, okay, wait, let me bring in, like, cause I should have, I should just been like, let me bring in the nightstand and like make sure that it's centered. And I just, I wasn't thinking. I was just more of like, okay, yeah, that height's gonna look good and like keep it balanced in the room. That will look great. And I should have done it off of the furniture, so warning to you in case you are going to hang pendant lights like over furniture make sure you do it like with the actual furniture there I feel so stupid right now but sharing so hopefully you don't make the mistake and have to pay for a mistake like the one I just <laughs> made because I'm gonna end up paying for it obviously but at least Dave was like very sweet and he's like don't beat yourself up about it but I'm beating myself up about it I feel really stupid <laughs> I still need to figure out what I'm doing as far as blinds here like I was Looking into getting plantation shutters for there. Um, but let me know what you think. Like, would you do just like regular blinds or plantation shutters or something different? Um, but I love, this was like my original kind of color scheme I was going for was sort of this like dusty rose color with the camel sort of a color. And so I'm so happy that they had pillows like this because I feel like they're perfect. Like they add some texture with like the velvet and the fringe and then kind of again more of just like a chic boho sort of a pillow and then like the chunky knit I feel like it just kind of like helps to have those different textures but oh my gosh I'm so excited to sleep in this bed tonight okay just talked off land and ant baseball so I need to make dinner so it has to be something really fast but I can't really make anything until like this all gets cleaned up first so I'm gonna clean up and then I'll share the dinner recipe with you guys on the run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now All my weakness keep on linger, linger on On repeat like it will be my favorite song Okay, so while I'm cleaning in here, I was wondering if any of you have recommendations for Universal Studios in Florida. I'm so excited because this fall we're planning a family reunion trip with Gigi and Papa and my sister and my mom. And my sister and I are huge Harry Potter fans. Like we read all the books as kids, went to all the movies. Gigi would take us to the bookstore at midnight and we would stay up all night reading them. So we promised each other that we would go to Harry Potter World together for the first time. And we just haven't been able to make it work yet between our life and work in the past two years. So we're going to Universal before we go to Disney so we can do Harry Potter World. And just the whole trip, it's so cool because Gigi and Papa and my mom went to Disney World in 1971 when it first opened. And Gigi and Papa would go with us when I was little. And so now the fact that we'll get to have four generations of us at Disney World for the 50th anniversary is just going to be unreal. Like, you guys know I love Disney. I have my Disney series on my channel if you want to see some Disney videos too. But this is just going to be such a special trip to see Gigi and Papa there with their great grandchildren. Like, I'm trying not to cry thinking about it right now. <laughs> but since we're going to Universal before we go to Disney, I had only gone, I think when I was in high school was when I went. I don't really remember a lot. I might have went one other time when I was little too. But again, I, just, I don't really remember it. And I think just so much has changed since then. So let me know if you have recommendations on where to stay, rides to go on, restaurants, especially like what would be good for the kids, like our kids' ages. Because that's the thing, I think Universal might have more height restrictions. So hopefully the older two at least will be big enough to go on some stuff. I know last time at Disneyland, they could ride almost everything, which that was so fun there. Definitely thrill seekers like me. But any of your Universal tips would be so appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you in advance.
with the laundry. Today was seriously so busy between watching Hayden, putting that bedroom together, school runs. I made a target run right after school to get the throw pillows and blanket that I ended up using because I didn't like how the first one was looking. And Landon had baseball after school too. So I needed a quick and easy dinner to throw together. So I'm making a 20 minute chicken pot pie. It's so easy. You make this all in one pot, saute one tablespoon of minced garlic, half of an onion that's minced, and three to four stalks of celery that are minced until that's all softened on medium high heat. I think I showed you guys these before, but I love these baking sheets. They like are just so easy to clean up anytime you're you know, cooking, baking, it just makes life so much easier. While that's cooking, bake your Pillsbury biscuits. They take about 13 minutes to bake. Then to your pot, add a bag of frozen corn and a bag of frozen peas and carrots. One teaspoon parsley, one teaspoon salt and pepper, one teaspoon paprika. Then I took a shortcut and I got this shredded chicken from Target, but add two shredded chicken breast, a can of cream of chicken soup, one cup chicken broth, and mix this all together. And once that's bubbling, you can lower the heat. Once the biscuits are ready, scoop into a bowl, serve with the biscuit, and you've got an easy chicken pot pie inspired dinner. Yes, this is what's happening while I cook dinner. <laughs> it's like his favorite thing to take all the dog food out. And then he usually puts the majority of it back in the box actually, but we're just in that phase. Where, oop, lose your balance there? Little topsy turvy. What are you drinking in that sippy cup? <laughs> it's just water, but <laughs> toddlerhood. good 20 minute meal that's like comfort food too just like all american comfort food but i turned everything off we have to go get landed from baseball come back and eat and then i will probably be doing like another clean of the kitchen it's like you clean the kitchen to clean the kitchen all day long um and i have a bunch of laundry i need to fold too so i'll probably do that after i get the kids in bed i actually have about five minutes so i'll show you really fast a couple things yeah that i got at target today this is for you. I got this for you. We are going. We have to go get um, Landon from baseball. What? Hayden was, yeah, it's time to pick him up already. Um, but I got this for Hayden. I thought that was like such a cute little tie-dye romper. It was only, I think, like eight bucks. Um, and then the kids' spring break. Yeah, the kids' spring break is next week. So I got them this slip and slide with a little like rainbow pool. I got this for me to read because um, I really like the In Five Years book. So this one's One Italian Summer. It said it was new. And I got the kids this pineapple bubble machine. So that will be so fun for them. Yeah. Um, and then I got this pineapple rattan mirror for in Presley's room. I need to finish decorating in there. And I got the kids Monopoly because Lana's been begging to play this. And 
I know <laughs> he's just gonna wanna play video games all day long, so I'm trying to have other things to do for less screen time. Oh, and this just came in the mail, actually. This was from Kohl's. I don't know why it got recommended to me, but I saw it and I was like, that is adorable for in Landon's room. So, yes, okay, we have to go get Landon. Speaking of it. Once Landon was home from baseball, I fed the kids dinner, gave them their baths, and then I had some laundry that needed to be folded. Just like the dishes, the laundry never ends. So I put on Euphoria while I was folding. Has anyone else watched this show? It's honestly kind of dark for me and like pretty extreme. Like I actually feel uncomfortable watching a lot of it. I don't know if anyone else who's watched it feels that way. Does that mean I'm lame? <laughs> don't answer that. Uh, but. What other shows are you watching these days? Let me know if you have any good ones. Especially if they're like uplifting ones. You can always use more uplifting type of content. You're far away and yet so close. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, you're up in space. You're inside the noise. I can feel you. All the places I hope it means that you'll come home to me once you travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart. part of the video now that I've slept in them and the Brooklyn and sheets are so comfortable. I highly recommend Brooklyn in. Just use my link below and my code Brianna K. Don't forget to let me know when you order your new sheets from Brooklyn in. Thank you so much for watching my clean and decorate with me and setting up my new bedroom with me. Thanks for subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Until then, check out my other videos for more homemaking motivation. Thanks loves, aloha. When I see you, my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing